What's up? Coach AJ here. Um, had a great catching lesson with one of my uh, youth athletes the other day. Great, great kid. Um, and he struggled a lot. And I wanted to bring up this point because this will this will save you as a youth catcher forever. Know this one rule, okay? If you're, if you're not catching, you're blocking, all right? We, and I think most of you know that. However, um, understanding that it makes your job easier once you do that, it's a lot less work, but it's also the next best move. Um, once you establish that here and you don't have fear within the mechanics of that, then all, all the problems go away, okay? The ultimate secret behind that is to know that you must block all the time, all right? When you're at practice, when you're doing your warm-ups, when, let's say, someone just, you know, jacks up a throw over to you, you need to go down into a block position consistently and all the time until it creates muscle memory and you are confident in that mechanic with or without gear, no matter what. And and I'm not telling you to, to not have gear on and get yourself hurt, but what I'm telling you is that know, know the difference between a lobbed over ball and a block mechanic and also a spike ball once you have your equipment on and, and understand that if you do that with consistency, you will be awesome. Don't forget, at practice, on warm-ups, in scrimmages, on bullpens, like I mean, in, in bullpens, in, 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 in the beginning of a game when a pitcher's warming up, don't let that ball go by, right? Block, 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 block. Best thing you could do. Peace.